Authentic in Calgary for the Sled Island Music Festival. Things are ramping up at Olympic Plaza, and I'm seeking in some time with one of the headliners, Greg Gillis, also known by his performing name, Girl Talk. So bands have a stage presence, they've got stuff going on, people moving around, and you, your musical instrument, you've got your laptop and you. So how do you, what's your plan for the performance tonight? How do you engage the crowd? Um, you know, I love doing that. There's just a problem of that, you know, I have to play the computer, you know. I would love to be in the audience a bit more. And I, I do like the battle of trying to make a performance out of doing the laptop thing. It's always been one of the kind of main goals behind Girl Talk, make this an entertaining show with you in a laptop. Um, so, you know, I get in the crowd as much as possible and get people on stage, but, um, past year and a half I've been bringing a couple of my friends along to actually kind of help out where I can't exist you know they kind of hype the front row and exist on stage and they deal physical props whether it's balloons or confetti or you know leaf blowers that can shoot water just all of that stuff so just kind of hire two people to come around me and really do the stuff I would love to be doing during the show is kind of what they're up to I think we're always trying to raise the bar with the shows. You know, you kind of set a precedent and you want to take it further. Um, so, yeah, I think the show, especially compared to the last time I was in Calgary, has definitely gone up a few notches. And I saw you at that last show in Calgary, and it was thick up there. And has anything ever happened, like, where someone, like, bumpies you and, like, wrecks the program or control, like, shuts your laptop down? Yeah, I mean, I've had lots of, you know, the PA being, you know, something being stepped on, music stopping, tables being broken, um, you know, people throwing up near me, on me. Um, you know, people have had sex on stage twice. Um, you know. Where was that? Who's the wild state? Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, I'm from Pittsburgh, uh, which is close by. They're different, though. Um, and uh, Miami University in Florida, which is all you would wow. ever hope of Miami University in Florida. So I'm hoping uh, to do a new record this year and then hopefully, you know, that's always the push. I think with any man, you know, you just want to keep raising the bar and changing it up a little bit and, uh, you know, create some new music and new ideas to do that. So, um, yeah, it hasn't really stopped and hopefully the new album will kind of push it for an, another year or two. Who's the one guy you follow on Twitter? You know you go to Twitter to find out about an artist, get in their head, and, and I was surprised by the one person you follow. Shaq, the man, the myth, the legend. As far as like a character, you know, as far as music, movies, like cartoons, and as far as just like a weird character that like five-year-olds can like get into, and also like adults can like on an athletic level, he's just a character. It's Shaquille O'Neal, you know, it's Shaq. You know, if Shaq actually responded to one of my tweets, or if I actually got to meet him, it, it would just be a beautiful thing for me. Greg, thanks for talking with us. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Sled Island.